Hallelujah. Kamusta po kayo? Praise the Lord. We are so blessed indeed. The Lord is so good. Amen. Hallelujah. Sige po, palakpan muli natin ang ating Panginoon. Praise the name of the Lord sa ating pong family dito sa Capital City. Um, we are into series. At uh, last Sunday, nag-start po ang ating pastor uh, ng series na God's Design for Families. And as promised, pag-uusapan po sa mga remaining Sundays yung uh, issues about families. Like last Sunday, the entire family. This Sunday uh, um, is devoted para po sa mga couples. Next Sunday ay fathers. Fathers Day pala next week, no? Hallelujah. Nakahanda na po ba yung mga anak natin sa mga fathers? Praise God. I-date po natin yung ating mga fathers para nag-request ako. <laughs> anyway, um, and then the fourth Sunday of June ay pag-uusapan din po yung hindi siya late uh, mothers. Yun, yung mothers. And last Sunday, uh, God willing, pag-uusapan din po yung responsibility and role ng mga anak. Devoted po yun para sa mga children. Amen. Hallelujah. Again, sige po, tayo pong lahat ay tumayo as we um, uh, listen to God's word this morning. Ang pag-uusapan po natin is about tell death do us part. Amen. Hallelujah. Tell death do us part. Yan po ang design ng Panginoon sa mga couples. And um, marami po mga verses sa Bible. Pero uh, in this presentation, I'll be using yung original first um, sabihin nating uh, ceremony na nangyari sa Bible. It comes from the book of Genesis. Verses 18 to 25. I'll just read and follow after. Just follow um, dyan po sa screen and with your Bible as well. Sabi ng verse 18, The Lord God said, It is not good for man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. Now the Lord God had formed out of the ground all the wild animals and all the birds in the sky. He brought them to the man to see what he would name them. And whatever the man called each living creature, that was its name. So the man gave names to all the livestock, the birds in the sky, and all the wild animals. But for Adam, no suitable helper was found. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs and then closed up the place with flesh. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man. The man said, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh, and she shall be called woman, for she was taken out of man. That is why a man leaves his father and mother, and he is united to his wife, and they become one flesh. Adam and his wife were both naked, and they felt no shame. Let's bow our heads, and we will go to God in prayer. Panginoon, from the very beginning, ang ganda po ng design nyo sa bawat isa po sa amin. Ito po, Panginoon, pag-uusapan namin ay kalooban nyo. Tulungan nyo kami, Panginoon, na makita namin ang original na paano nyo create at paano po nag-establish ang isang family. At ngayon pa lang, Panginoon, excited kami sa inyo pong sasabihin sa aming kalagitnaan. Marami pong salamat o Diyos. And may your name be lifted up in Jesus' name. This is our prayer. Amen. Amen. You may all be seated. By the way, the purpose of this message is not just for couples. Hindi ito para sa mga may asawa na ngayon, or hindi lang ito para sa kanila, kundi para sa buhay ng bawat isa sa atin. There was this seminar na ginawa po tayo, uh, yung couples ministry natin. Um, lagi nag-organize po ng uh, big event at last February, um, post-Valentine event po ng mga couples, yung uh, till death. Death, yon. Hindi death, kundi walang utang, do as part. Yon, para sa mga kape, usaha, usapang kaperehan. And it was dented by so many uh, couples uh, around the community, dito po sa church. And it was nice na makita po ang lahat po ng mga couples. At uh, nakakatuwa, kahit mga hindi pa couple or married couple ay umatend. Diba? Nakakatuwa yun. And according to the speakers, um, by the name of um, Vic and Avilin Garcia, uh, they were so um, passionate about this na in order for you to be successful, you have to prepare. And hindi lang po sa finances, kundi sa, wed- sa, sa marriage life. So, hindi yung nagpakasala sa kamag-aaral pa. 
So ang, ang suggestion is before pang ikasal, pag-aralan na. Na, na narinig po natin yung mga couples na yun. And in, in our country, sa Pilipinas po, um, marami pong mga proseso kung paano ikasal, di ba? Alam natin yun. By the way, kami po dito mga pastors ay meron pong ginagawa, part of our ministry ay yung nagkakasal. Kaya ang tawag minsan po sa amin ay reverent. Um, we are uh, part of uh, solemnizing body sa buong Pilipinas. Yung mga tinatawag na um, by the authority vested to me by the Republic of the Philippines and Church of the Force or gospel, in the, gospel, I pronounce you, marang ganun. So part po kami nung ganun. Meron pong mga license na tinatawag pag reverent. Um, before pa, tayong pumasok sa, sa marriage, meron pong mga requirements. Meron pong mga dapat itindihin, di ba? How to get married in the Philippines is an ultimate guide. Nakita ko po yan. Yung link sa baba, pag i-click po yan, lahat detailed from day one hanggang ikaw ay tumungtong sa altar. <laughs> yun po yun, how to get married. Pero hindi ko titingnan lahat yan. Isang quick lang, kung paano ka kumuha o uh, maayos yung marriage application mo. Um, alam ito ng mga bagong kasal pa lang. Um, meron dito sa ating kalagitnaan. Uh, personal appearance, pupunta ka. In a, uh, binigyan ko lang ng mga abbreviation kasi sobrang haba. Pero I think I can, I can still uh, recite that. Latest certified true copy PSA, Philippine Statistic Authority of Birth Certificate. So yan yung let, letter B. Original at photocopy. Notarized affidavit of parental consent for applicants before below 25 years old. Latest Senomar, Certificate of No Marriage, original copy. Yan, ganun yan. And CA, that Certificate of Attendance in a PMC, that's Pre-Marriage Counseling, Family Planning, and Parenthood Seminar. Yung Pre-Marriage Counseling, ginagawa po yun ng church, um, ng, ng mga pastors, na, yung officiating minister, yung family planning, ginagawa po yan sa uh, Department of sa Health, um, center po ng ating local civil registrar office and then uh, parenthood seminar ginawa, ginagawa din optional valid ID of original and uh, photocopy and last is siyempre marriage license application form issued by the LCR that's local civil, uh, civil registry office so parang uh, nabanggit ko po yan kasi dito po sa ating season sa ating church, meron, kami, meron sa aking close na malapit ng ikasal. Actually, malapit na siyang matapos o tapos na siya dyan. Hindi ko babanggitin yung pangalan, pero uh, meron dito sa ating congregation na pamangkin yan. Oh, ikakasal na yan, di ba? Malapit ng ikasal. Member ng worship team. Uh, di ba? Kilala nyo yan kung sino. Pero wag na. Kahapon, meron nag-propose. Kahapon lang. Kahapon. Head ng ating media. Oh, hindi nyo kalala yun, pero yun. Kahapon lang yan nag-propose sa Disneyland. Imagine nyo, Disneyland Hong Kong. Yan, nag-propose. Kilala nyo yun. Kilala nyo yun, di ba? So, yan, sabihin ko po sa inyo, si Diane Caparas. Andito yung lola ngayon. Eh. Ay, lola. Yan, si Diane Caparas, na head nating media, um, nag, nagpunta sa, sa Hong Kong para mag-propose yung sindiko. Kilala nyo po yun. Anyway, what I'm saying is, ang ganda pong ikasal. Ang, ganda, ang sarap ng moment na ganun at hindi natin ma-explain. Nung... Um, nakita namin yung proposal niyan. Nandun po ako nung proposal. Yung proposal niyan, halos hindi alam yung, sobrang excited yung lalaki, nakalimutan yung gagawin. Mga ganun, pero, di ba? Um, meron dito sa ating kalagitnaan na nag-propose din last year. Ako ay isang saksi sa youth convention. Um, yun, nakita ko po yun. Uh, sobrang exciting. Kilig na kilig, syempre, yung kanyang um, fiancé that time. Ngayon po, married na po sila. So, uh, gusto ko po i-welcome, si bagong kasal pa po yan, si, si Dean, uh, yan, and yung kanya pong wife, lovely wife, yan, Bilya Cruces, praise God, so, thank you. Ang sarap po ng feeling, with all this, this feeling na masarap, ang reality po sa Pilipinas ay hindi maganda. Gusto ko pong sundan yung ring na yan sa isang ring na ganyan. Um, the way you define that thing ay um, parang hindi maganda. Yung sa akin po, itong ring na to, um, five years na po kami ni siya, gift po ito ng aking ninong na si Pastor Alden Imaas at si Ma'am Rachel Imaas doon po sa Cavite City Foursquare Church. And nasabi niya, simple lang yan, pero yan symbolizes your covenant with, with God and with your partner. Ang ganda. 
Pero nung nakita ko yan, parang sad. Kasi nowadays, in our nation, ang dami pong nangyayari, ang dami nagpapakasal, pero ngayon, ang dami ding, hindi po nag-divorce kasi wala sa atin, nagihiwalay. I'm not saying na yung mga nasa onahan ay ganun yung mangyari. I'm saying, I'm stay, stating a fact right now here in our nation. And na, nakakalungkot. We should pray for that. At mapapansin po natin, meron pong survey na ginawa um, March, to, March 2017 and also another uh, um, survey December 2017. So basically, uh, dalawang events ang ginawa, survey 2017, yung pinakadulo. Interestingly, kung titignan niyo po sa screen, doon na kayo tumingin sa 2017. Agree or disagree, married couples who have been already separated and cannot reconcile anymore should be allowed to divorce so that they can legally marry again. Uh, survey lang yan, survey lang. Pagdating ng 2017, ang reaction ng mga tao doon sa strongly agree ay 30%. At yung, yung sumunod, that's um, somewhat agree ay 23%. So yung mga tao ngayon, um, 2017 po yan, ay umabot na po sa 53% ang agree na pwedeng magkaroon ng divorce dito sa ating bansa. Alam natin, hindi pa po yun. Pero marami pong latest na nangyari. Napapansin po natin. Kung baga, uh, meron pong nangyari sa March, March 2018 sa House of Representatives uh, under the leadership of uh, the former speaker, Alvarez, approve yung fi- third and final reading ng Bill of Divorce. At nakakalungkot, nasa House yan. House of Representatives, nasa batasan. At sobra, sobra. Pero, kinontra agad ng ating presidente. Ang sabi ng ating presidente, my daughter is not happy with that. Ah, sabi niya po yan, my daughter is not happy with that, really. Sabi niya doon sa article. Uh, nasulat yung article after nung na-propose yung fine na, na reading yung, yung bill sa Congress. Ayaw niya yung gidon. And we praise God for that. Um, sabihin natin, uh, intervention. Pero meron pong isang sine, Senate, um, senador na, na sikat dati. Sikat pa rin ngayon. Sikat dahil nalagi nasa kalye. Ngayon, nag-propose siya ng bill. At ang bill na to, January 2019 lang pinopose. Senate Bill or Divorce, Divorce Act of 2018. That the same bill na binanggit mo natin kanina. Yan po yun. Inulit po nung senador na si Senator Risa Ontiveros. Diba? Alam, kilala nyo ba si Senator Risa Ontiveros? Para mas lalo maging kilala, siya po yung co-author ng Soji Bill. So, Pabansin natin, ba? Alam nyo ba yung Soji Bill? Ang Soji Bill ay um, sexual orientation, and gender gender identity expression or equality, parang ganun. Social orientation and gender gender identity um, expression. So, ibig sabihin, pwede mo express So, ang tawag dyan is SOGI, SOGI uh, Equality Bill. Imagine niyo po yun. So, pwede kang, kaya, di ba, mapapansin natin sa ating kapanahunan ngayon, meron na pong CR sa ilo-ilo na he, she, and Diba? Ano tawag doon? Nakita ko sa... Parang hindi po maganda. Parang nakakalungkot yung ganun mga bangay. Um, I'm not saying na... Uh, or something. Pero le- we, ha- we have to pray for, for the Senate. We have to pray for the Congress. We have to pray for our President. We have to pray for our nation para yung mga statistics ay hindi pa tumaas. Diba? Marami pong mga ganun mga bagay na gusto nating sabihin. And dahil wala pong divorce, mapapansin po natin, sa Pilipinas lang at sa Vatican, the only nation in the world that does not have divorce law, yung Pilipinas. Yung Pilipinas. So yung mga, yung mga pro-divorce, ang ginagawa nila, na-abuse, na-abuse daw yung mga women. Sabi ni Hintuberos, ganun daw, so parang ganun. Pero dahil ako ang speaker, I'm representing men. Pati naman men na abuse din, di ba? Pero hindi po, yung, hindi po yun yung uh, solusyon. Divorce, parang ganun idea. By the way, I'm, I'm not expert of this kasi bata pa po lang po ako. I'm 39, uh, 38 pa lang pa po la. But I'm, what I'm saying is, this, I'm trying to, to extract from, from what the Bible is saying at makita natin yung foundation when it comes to His design for couples. Yun yung point. Kaya nowadays, ang ginagawa po um, dito sa Pilipinas, merong law. At ang law po ay yung tinatawag na nullity of marriage or annulment na tinatawag. 
mali po yung ating survey dyan kasi dun sa taas, 20, 21, 2001 hanggang 2004, dapat yan 2014. Kasi dito sa baba, 2014. So, 2014. Simula 2001 hanggang 20, 2014, tumataas po ang cases sa buong Pilipinas sa pag-anal. At nakakalungkot po yan. Ayaw nating ayaw natin tumaas yan. At ang annulment po ay napaka mahal. Diba? Ang annulment po ngayon, ang basic na annulment ay about 300,000 pesos plus. Marami po mga cycle, may mga marami pang mga additionals. At um, nakakalungkot, wag nating pag-usapan masyado yan, hindi ako mag elaborate Pero gusto nating tingnan na hindi yan yung design ng Panginoon. Ang design ng Lord ay eto, till death do us part. Ibig sabihin, the moment na we step on this, this uh, altar, nagsumpaan tayo sa Panginoon. And it is our covenant. It is God's covenant. It's, it's our covenant between God and also our covenant between our spouse. At yun yung magandang sariwain, mas magandang tingnan yung mga bagay na ganun. The purpose again of this message is hindi lang, hindi lang para sa mga couple. Maganda din pong itong guide sa mga kabataan, sa mga bata pa, maglo-look forward na someday it, makita natin o mag, magkaroon ng fulfillment yung desire ng Panginoon sa buhay ng bawat isa sa atin to experience yung, yung plano ng ating Panginoon when it comes to this issue. And I believe na as we go on with, with this material, naniniwala tayo na mas lalo pang may strengthen yung ating pong love with each other sa mga couple at magkakaroon tayo ng desire to really glorify God with our, with our married life. At yun po yung desire ng buhay, sa buhay po ng bawat isa sa atin. Amen. Are you ready? Amen. In this material, I'll be using uh, three principles na kung saan ay uh, founded dito po sa uh, first two chapters of Genesis. We'll try to go back sa unang nangyari sa first, sa first chapter. And at the end of, of our um, sharing, we'll try to come up with, again, principle from, from the Word of God. Amen. Let's start with this thing, the, the intention of God. Ano yung intention ng ating Panginoon sa family or sa isang pong couple, sa isang pong married couple? And sabi po ng Bible, sa verse 18, The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. That phrase, binanggit uli yan sa mga susunod mga phrases. Pero when you read that verse 18 alone, parang ang unang po dumarating sa ating isipan ay yung mga bagay na Wow, ang ganda, ang ganda ng statement na binanggit ng Panginoon actually. Pero but, but that verse started with a negative. A negative implication na parang, huh, it's not good for the man. Prior to that, that language na ginamit ng ating Panginoon, um, hindi yung not good ang mga nababanggit natin. Highlighted dyan sa, sa verse 18. Pero ang intention ng Lord ay hindi ganyan. Okay? When you trace back, first chapter of Genesis, makikita natin yung mga series of events, creation events. From verse 4 of chapter 1 up to the last verse um, of chapter 1, actually, verse 31, meron pong seven times na binanggit yung statement na God saw was good. Let's read those verses. God saw that the light was good and He separated the light from the darkness. Verse 10, God called the dry ground land and gathered waters, and he called the seas. And God saw that it was good the second time. The third time, verse 12, the land produced vegetation, plants bearing seed according to their kinds, and trees bearing fruit with seed in its according to their kinds. And God saw it was good the third time. The fourth time, verse 18, sabi ng verse 18, sabi ng Lord, to govern the day and night and to separate light from darkness, and God saw that it was good. That's the fourth time. Verse 21. Sabi ng verse 21, So God created the, the great creatures of the sea and every living moving things with which the water steams, teams according to their kinds, every winged bird according to its kinds. And God saw that it was good. Ang limang beses po yan. Verse 25. God made the wild animals according to their kinds, and the livestock according to their kinds, and all the creatures that move along the ground according to their kinds, and God saw that it was good. Six time. Pang, pang pito. God saw all that He had made, and it was very good. There was evening, and there was morning, 
the sixth day. Kasi na yung ating worship leader, si Pastor Flor, was, was uh, elaborating yung the goodness of God. When you see the goodness of God, parang, wow, Lord, indeed, you are good. So parang at the first beginning, ang unang design ng Panginoon, yung pagka-create niya, it was good. It was good. And the last time he used the word good, nilagyan niya po ng adverb na it was very good. It was very good. Pero kung babalikan natin yung verse na, verse 18, parang, so, uh, it's not good. It's a play of words actually sa, sa, sa pag-aaral ng Bible. It's a play of words kasi it was very good seven times. It was good. But parang na-orient yung mind mo na you are reading Genesis that it was all good. And then when you read verse 18, it's not good. It's not good at all. Parang it's not ba? Pero yung intention ng Panginoon ay maganda. The Lord God said it, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. Let's dissect that verse alone. Sabi niyo doon, then God said it was not good. Ayun ah, pala. Ang not good ay yung alone siya. Yung alone yung tao. So parang ang desire ng Lord dito is hindi lang maging alone. Meron siyang laging, meron, meron siyang dadalhin na, na, na plan. Meron siyang fulfillment yung design ng Panginoon. Hindi para maging alone. Wow. Ang ibig sabihin ng alone originally from that passage ay being cut off or being a piece with isolated from the whole. The, the, the word original, the word alone in the original, yun yung inclination kasi um, Adam was looking dito sa mga, sa mga animals and parang wala akong kasama dito. Ah. Parang, Lord, samahan mo nga ako dito. Parang ganun yung in- indication. Pero ang, ang gusto natin sabihin dito, yun yung intention ng Panginoon. Ayaw niya na maging alone yung tao that very moment. So that's why, I will make a helper suitable for him. I-dissect natin yung mga statement na yan. Um, ang helper dito, ang unang intention ng Lord is making, in making woman was to complement the man. And that's beauty. That's the original intention. Kaya create yung babae para i-complement yung lalaki o sa lalaki. Sa, sa lalaki. Para hindi maging alone. And that's the beauty of his intention from the original thing. Diba? Parang, ah, wow, ang beauty po ng, ng creation po ng ating Panginoon. At pwede, pwede rin tingnan, pwede rin embrace. Wow, salamat Panginoon. That's his intention para sa buhay po ng bawat isa sa atin. Diba? Makikita natin na meron siyang design na ayaw ng Panginoon na malungkot yung lalaki. Doon sa aspetong yun. So kung babalikan mo yung intention ng Lord, ang ganda. Diba? And even in the language of Paul, in the New Testament, when you read Ephesians chapter 5, by the way, gagamitin ni Pastor Bong Nilo yun sa third service mamaya, yung about um, man uh, loving her, his husband, and, and but the women or the wives submitting to their husband, yun po yung ibig sabihin ng nagko-complement each other. Parang ganun. So, yun yung point. So, that's God's original intention. Yun po yung bagay na yun. In making woman was to complement the man. Wow, hallelujah. The Lord God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make helper. At yung helper na yun, hindi yung helper na katulong, hindi yung helper na kasambahay, hindi yung maglalaba. Hindi po ganun. Yung suitable, ang ibig sabihin ng suitable in the original thing, ay yung idea na someone worthy of comparison. Kaparehas. Di ba? Pansin niyo po yun. Minsan, dahil hindi natin alam yung intention original ng Panginoon, ay ang treatment sa mga babae ay hindi kaparehas ng lalaki. Are you following? So in order for us to, to appreciate yung God's design sa mga couples, um, tingnan natin yung original intention ng Panginoon kung paan niya create. And when God used the word suitable in the original language, suitable means someone worthy of comparison. Meron pang isa. Someone being of equal regard. Edad na po. So, ibig sabihin, hindi po nabibilitil yung ating mga babae. Ibig sabihin, parehas po sila. Momentarily, as we proceed dito po sa mga statements na to, makikita natin kung paano sila nag-complement with each other. Later on, we will try to, to explain yung the two become one flesh. And this is God's intention na maging maayos po ang isa pong mag-asawa. Mag-complement sa bawat isa. Suitable for Him. Yung ibang version, new NLT, uh, New Living Trans- Translations, ginamit po yung um, yeah, suitable helper. 
uh, comparison. Yung mga statement na yun para sabihin lang na this is something na binigay ng Panginoon. Hallelujah. She was created so that man would not be alone. Every woman was created in the original to assist men so that they could work together to fulfill purposes and goals. From that statement, we're not saying na isa lang dapat. We're not saying, or we're simply saying na dapat ay together na gumagawa yung couple. Both spouses, husband and wife. Husbands, all wives should work together at hindi lang yung isa. For to fulfill same purpose and goal. Every time po ako ay nagkakasal, nandito po ako sa harapan, nandito po sila. At lagi po dala yung cellphone at meron pinipicturean ko talaga sila, binibideohan ko. And every time na sila po ay nagbigay ng vow, real, real eh. I mean, meron silang, pag sinabing real, ramdam na ramdam mo yung sincerity ng puso nila kasi malapit ka sa kanila eh. Hindi dahil sa umiiyak, pero they're, they're saying na we're together. No, we're together. Parang ganon. I experienced this uh, this wedding uh, sa tanay. Um, hindi naman siya nanonood ngayon, tulog pa sila. Uh, meron kaming, meron kong kinasal sa Sierra Madrid tanay na yung lalaki at yung mababae ay um, mag-girlfriend sila at mag-boyfriend 10 years ago. Third year high school pa lang sila at sila po ay kinasal after that. Uh, professional teachers po sila at nakakatawa. Nung sila po ay nag, nagkaroon ng vow Ang haba ng vow ng lalaki kasi binalikan niyo yung 10 years na relationship. And then that 10 years, ang dami pong struggle. Pero nung binanggit niya, ang sinabi niya doon, we're together now. At last, we're together. Parang ganun. Sobrang iyak, sobrang iyak. Kaya moment, di ba? Pag iyak kasi para maganda sa video. Pero hindi. Lalabas talaga yung idea na pag na, we're together. Parang ganun. Ang ganda. To fulfill purposes and goals. And also, she was created to cohabitate, yun yung statement na dapat nating namimiss ng karamihan, with men so that they could live cordially together. Together pa rin. I mean, cooperating together, fulfilling the plan of God together. Diba? Dapat alam niya ng both sides together for their lives, both personally and jointly as a union. Masarap pong embrace po yan dahil yan po yung original intention ng Panginoon. Marami po ngayon ang nabibilitil po yung mga babae. Ayaw nating mangyari yun. So that's why we are trying to, to, to create this message para mas lalo tayong ma-orient, especially po yung ating mga kababayahan, mga kabataan na papasok uh, ultimately uh, some other time of your life sa marriage or para mag-asawa. At least ma-prepare natin yung ating sarili dito sa aspetong ito. It's not right talaga na saka tayo mag-prepare pag mag-asawa na tayo o mag Mas maganda before tayo mag-asawa, pag-aralan na natin yung kung paano maging isang asawa, babae o lalaki. Ang ganda po nun, at nakakatawa na at least may mga ganda pong mga bagay. We, we, we praise God for our couples department na inaayos po yung ganun, na nag-create ng, hindi lang basta maka-create ng event because they're creating para makatulong po yung mga nag struggle na couples. I mean, parang ganun. Dahil wala namang perfect Para lang makita yung ganun bagay na this is God's intention for us couples. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Woman was created so that man would have someone to share his experience with, his dreams with, his goals with, his life with, and someone to display his love upon. Someone to display his love upon. I would never um, forget Pastor June's illustration pagtukol po sa love when it comes to Adam and Eve one, one, one sunny afternoon si Adam at si Eve ay naglalakad holding hands and then si Eve nagtanong kay Adam Adam, mahal mo ba talaga ako? Hindi pinansin ni Adam si Eve nagsimangot si Eve sabi ni, Adam, ni Eve Adam! Mahal mo ba talaga ako? Ulit, ulit, inulit, ulit. Hindi alam kung ilan times. Pero lastly, galit na galit na, in her face, sabi ni Adam, Mahal mo ba talaga ako? Alam mo, sabi ni Adam, meron pa ba? Hindi pa ako galing yun kay Pastor Perez. Sila lang naman dalawa dun eh, di ba? So, wala siyang choice. 
Pero that's, that's the purpose of that statement. Para masheran siya ng lahat, his dreams, and someone to display his love upon. Yan yung intention ng Panginoon. Diba? Then God's intention. So that's why sa mga, pwede ko bang sabihin? Yeah. Sa mga singles, sa mga wala pang asawa, um, I know, you, God knows you specifically. God knows your desire. If that desire corresponds and correlate with God's desire, hindi yan pahihirapan ng Panginoon. God will give you something or somebody or someone para ma-fulfill yung mga ganun mga bagay. Amen. Amen. That's His intention. Moving on, makikita po natin yung intervention ng Panginoon. His intention ay hindi maging alone yung lalaki. Ang intervention niya ay kung paano, paano niya ginawa para hindi maging alone yung lalaki. Ito po yung nangyari. Now the Lord God had formed out of the ground all the wild animals and all the birds in the sky. Picture with me this. this. As I read, just picture the scene. He brought them to the man to see what he would name them. And whatever the man called each living creature, that was its, its name. Diba? And then, so the man gave names to all livestock and the birds of the sky and all the wild animals. And when you read the second portion of verse 20, uh, I, I intentionally skipped that last portion kasi ilalagay ko sa next frame. Kasi yung last portion ng 2020 ay ito. But for Adam... No suitable helper was found. Here comes this scenario. Si Adam, dinala ng Lord lahat ng animals dyan. Si Adam, nandito. Okay, um, giraffe, hippopotamus, um, rhinos. Um, meron sa aming weird na animals sa probinsya. Nung bata pa kami, wala kasi mga gadget noon. Wala ng ano. Naglalaro kami dun sa buhangin. Sa buhangin, merong isang buhangin na uh, parang brown. Hindi sa buhangin sa bahay lang. Sa gilid ng bahay, mayroong tao, may, may animal doon na insect na ang tawag sa amin sa probinsya ay kurokotok. Sorry ha, sorry. <laughs> kurokotok. So, ibig sabihin, saan galing yung pangalan yan? Originally, si Adam ang nagpangalan nun. Oo, oh, scientifically, si, si, si Adam ang nagpangalan nun, di ba? Paano discover yung mga scientist na mga scientific name ng, ng cockroach, ng, ng scientific name ng andaming andaming Family of cats, di ba? Family of pigs and everything. Lahat, may mga family sila. Kung manunood kayo ng, ng Simba, ng Lion King, showing na yun next, next month ba yan? Next month. Maraming mga animals doon na partner-partner sila. Hindi sila nag-iisa, laging partner-partner doon sa, sa Lion King. Um, lahat po sila. Pero ibig sabihin ganun. So ganun yung senaryo. Nakata- nakatayo si, si, si Simba ba yan? Or si, hindi ko, hindi ko makakabisado yung Lion King. But anyway, Tapos si, si Adam, nagpangalan. Napangalanan niya na lahat. And then here comes this moment of silence. Ay, Lord, <laughs> For, wala akong kasama Panginoon. Lord, are you kidding me? So, yung ganun, laging sinasabi ni Sean, are you kidding me? Ang ganda sila. Bakit Lord, ako wala? Parang ganun yung idea, sorry. Parang ganun yung idea. Pero sabi ng verse 21, um, before the 21, sorry, I missed this thing. The point is, the Lord never awakens a desire that He's not prepared to fulfill in His own way and His own perfect time. What we're trying to say with that, with that statement is, um, meron kang sitwasyon na hindi maganda. You're alone. Diba? Hindi lang po sa couple. I mean, in a situation. Diba? Hindi ka niya ilalagay sa sitwasyon ng niyan na walang way out. In God's design, original design, overall family, let's keep with the couple issue. Original design ng Panginoon. Kapag nilagay niya sa sitwasyon na parang strange na, bakit ako nandito? Remember that God never awakens a desire or a situation that He is not prepared to fulfill His own way and His own time. Lagi siyang merong solution dun sa bagay na yun. Diba? Kasi kung babalikan natin yung verse, uh, sad. Pero hindi po, merong solusyon. Diba? Hindi po nagtapos doon. Kasi when you read verse 21, So the Lord God, here comes again. Diba? So the Lord God, laging may solusyon doon sa, sa aspetong yun. So ang intervention ng Lord in this design, ay ayusin. Ito yung nangyari. God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. Hindi naman pinagod ng Panginoon at tulog. 
Uh, and while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs and then closed up the flesh, the place with the flesh. According to the, to the history, that moment, uh, that uh, verse, that scenario was the first major operation in the Bible. Major operation, no anesthesia. Ang hirap ng cesarean, di ba? Parang ganun. Yung wife ko next, next month, um, manganak at CS, maraming iniisip. Um, I'm not mentioning this for some reason, but I'm mentioning this, parang yung idea ng operation lang, parang ang hirap. Kasi nung ng operation ng unang asa anak namin, hindi ko nakita, pero yung sakit, parang gusto niya ang suntukin na sobrang sakit. Yung pang- pero yung operation, pero masakit pa rin. Parang lalo pag kumikilos. Pero, just imagine, God, pero, Lord naman yun eh, pero just imagine lang, parang, hindi naman natin pinapababaw yung moment, pero, God took one of man's ribs, parang hinihila lang, okay, and then closed up the place with a, parang ganun. Diba? Imagine mo yun, parang, that, that's God's intervention para ma-fulfill yung tinatawag na idea na walang, walang suitable dun sa, baba, sa lalaki. Yung naayos ng Panginoon, He took one of the man's ribs and then closed up with the place, up, up the place with the flesh. It's so amazing. Ganun katindi yung prosesong ginawa ng Panginoon para punan, bigyan ng intervention yung sitwasyon ng lalaki. At alam po natin yan. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man and he brought her to the man. Hindi uh, natin alam, wag na natin masyadong ipaka-detailed yung kung paano ginawa yun ng Diyos, kung paano na-create yung woman. Pero ang sabi ng Bible, the Lord God made a woman from the rib. Pagkuha ng rib, okay, inopera, klinose yung opera ni, ni Adam, tulog pa rin siya kasi sa... Sa, sa recovery room ay 6 to 8 hours ang, ang recovery room so tulog pa habang tulog pa si Adam si God uh, gumagawa ng babae out of that rib na kinuha kay Adam and then nagcreate something babae mm. parang ganun yung story and then that's God's intervention diba? and he brought her to the man tulog pa si Adam and then we read sabi nun mapapansin po natin sa Hebrew sa original Hebrew language ang ibig sabihin ang pangalang man and woman magkadikit Diba? Ang sabi po doon, sa Hebrew, ang word na man ay ish. 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 Uh, kung mapapansin nyo, yung ditong salita, yung parang, parang kandila, yan po ay W. Uh, S-S-S-H pala, hindi W yan. S-H. S-H. Tapos yung pinakadulo doon, yung parang, parang, uh, parang X ng konti, yan po ay letter uh, alpha po yan. Um, um, so ish. So yung pagbabasa. Sa babae, alam niyo ba kung anong Hebrew word ng babae? Halos galing talaga sa lalaki. Isha. 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 Yan. Yan, totoo yun. Tinan po natin yung root word. Parehas lang. Yung dito. Tapos dinagdagan lang niyang ng S-H. Diba? S-H-A-H. Diba? So, Isha. So, galing dun. So, mapapansin po natin, by uh, pag yung vocabulary ng men at women, ay indication na talagang yun yung purpose ng Panginoon. Galing talaga. So parang kumuha ng root word yung name ng woman dun sa root word ng man. Para i-impli- bigyan ng implication yung ganun bagay. Ganun katindi yung pagka-create ng ating Panginoon. Diba? Mapansin po natin, sabi po ni, um, ay yung nagsabi nito, ginagamit ko po yan sa wedding, kapag nag-homily, um, inigamit yung statement niyan pero ang original nagsabi niyan ay si Matthew Henry yung commentary na matagal na 1800 mas matagal na commentary sabi niya Eve was made by God not out of Adam's hip head to rule over him nor out of his feet to be trampled upon by him but out of his side to be equal with him tinan po natin yung intention kanina di ba equal someone of equal regard to be equal with him from under his arm to be protected by him and from near to his heart to be loved. Yun po yung, yun yun, di ba? Kaya sabi, nga, sabi ni Paul again sa, Rome, sa Ephesians, love your, your wives. Love your wives. Kasi yun yung original intention ng Panginoon and the way God inter, intervened para maayos po yung need ng tao, eto yun. At ito yung prosesong gagawin ng lalaki. From under his arm to be protected and from near his heart to be loved. Hallelujah. 
I love you, mommy. Um, nakakatawa, di ba? Parang pag sinasabi natin na, yun, yun yung dapat. Yun yung dapat kasi yun yung original intention ng Lord at kung paano nag-intervene ng ating Panginoon. Amen. Ang ganda po ng design ng Lord sa mga couples. Amen. Hallelujah. Intention, His intention was not to be alone, itong lalaki. And His intervention, gumawa siya ng proseso para maayos. And lastly, this morning, we'll try to um, sum up this message sa isa pong st- statement na invention. When I use the word invention, I'm talking about um, the first ceremony of marriage. Pag sinabing invention is, with this event, sinabi ng Panginoon na this is something na dapat na maging example when it comes to generations and to generations pagdating po sa marriage. Sa bilang isa pong uh, mag-asawa. Let's read this verse, verse 23. The man said, wow. Pagkagising sa 8 to 6 hours na pagkakatulog dahil sa anesthesia, wala namang anesthesia pala. Hinarap ng Lord, hinarap ng Lord si si Eve, pero wala pang pangalan kasi si ang nagpangalan nun si si Adam. Pagdala kay Adam, sabi ni Adam, nagulat siya. Ha, oh, yes, meron na akong kasama. Hindi siya nagulat. I mean, I don't know, di ba? Wala pang specific, pero sabi niya, this is now. Parang, Lord, saan galing 'yan? Walang ganoon. Lord, taga, taga saan yan? Anong apelido niyan? Di ba? Anong ganun? Walang, walang, walang background check. Basta pagbigay sa kanya ng Panginoon, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my... Paano niya nalaman na galing sa kanyang flesh? Di ba? Mapapansin talaga natin yung essence po, yung invention po ng marriage. Whatever it is, kung gaano man yung proseso na bago tayo nakasal o nag-asawa, Kahit gaano kahirap yan, pero kapag yan po ay ordained by God, kapag yan po ay, ay merong blessing ng Panginoon, anumang hira, anumang prosesong pinagdaanan, di ba, may mga untoward circumstances tayong nararanasan, pero kapag tayo po yung humarap sa altar, salamat sa Panginoon, yan po yung this is now. Kung baga, pag sinasabi na this is it, parang yun yung point. Di ba, parang sinasabi, parang sinasabi ni, ni Adam, yes Lord, this is now, anong ganun. Flesh of my flesh, she shall be called woman, for she was taken out of man. Salamat sa Panginoon. Parang ang sarap isipin niyo yung moment na pagtingin mo sa asawa mo, this is it. Nabanggit ni Pastor Mars last time na pwede siyang gumamit ng mga pictures ng family. Lalala niyo po, namin niyang ginamit ng mga pictures. Let me use my own picture. <laughs> diba? In any marriage, there must be that element of heartfelt love and the sure knowledge that this, that this is the person God has created just for me. Merong kanta sa wedding na laging kinakanta. Yung, God made me you, so we are sure. Kama ba yun? Tama yun. And God made you, you must be thinking about. Yun ba yun? God gave me you. Yeah, God gave me you. So when God made me, He was be thinking of. I, when God made you, He was me thinking about me. That person, that person. Ngayon dito po sa congregation, meron tayong mga bagong kasal. Um, salamat sa Panginoon kasi alam natin na tayo po ay that person. Sa mga matagal ng kasal, iyon po rin po ay totoo. Amen. Hindi tayo nagsisi because whether we like it or not, Yan po yung binigay ng Panginoon sa atin. In a sense, by own, our own definition, pero God's intention is for, the, for us not to be alone. At yung intervention niya, inayos na, here comes this thing, that person, siya na. Ito yung sinasabi ko. Uh, yung, yung shot na yan, sa Tanay, sa Tanay Rizal, yung uh, liblib na lugar, iskinita, kapag, bago ka dumating ng uh, lampas ng buso-buso, yung tanay na yan, yung parang swing-swing na sa, sa tanay. Ang kumuha po niyan, yung ating kapatid ni si Kuya Bern Mihias. Um, that was, uh, nakuha yan, January 2014. Payat pa ako dyan. Pero, ang iniisip ko kasi, habang, habang tinitan ko niyan, parang, parang sinasabi ko na, na, that's the person. Parang, ini, nung, the way I interpret it, parang sinasabi ko na, this is it. 
Parang ganun. Alam niyo po ba, before kami mag-asawa, ang dami namin pinagdaan ng sitwasyon. Um, hindi ko bibigyan ng details, pero sobrang dami. Sa sobrang dami, dumating sa point na pagkatapos ng proposal ko sa kanya, um, noong November, uh, that's November 2013, ako nag-propose, 2004, uh, sa kanya. Nagpaalam ako ka, Pastor, na mag-propose sa con- um, Thanksgiving, November. Uh, nag-propose ko sa kanya. Pagkatapos nun, ang daming nangyari. Hindi namin alam kung paano kung paano magtatagumpay. Pero nung malapit na, parang sabi ko, Lord, this is it. Ito yun. Ito yung intervention mo. Yung first marriage ko ay um, three years lang kasi yung una kong asawa ay namatay. Yung anak, yung mama ng aking panganay na 15 years old na ngayon. Yung my, my daughter, Shine, when she was ten, two years old and 10 months, yung, yung una kong asawa ay namatay sa asthma. Nagkaroon siya ng complications sa heart, sa province kami sa Ojongan. And that was 2006. And then yung 2006, sobrang hira. Parang, Lord, mm, anong plano mo? Parang gano'n, di ba? Okay, nakwento ko na rin, pero just to uh, 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 re- retaliate itong moment na to. Kasi parang nakita ko na this is it. Ito yung moment ko na nasabi ko na this is it. This is the person. And then 2006, magkakilala kami ni, ni, ni siya. By the way, si siya, si siya ay coordinator ng una kong kasal dito sa church. Siya po yung coordinator ng kasal namin. Uh, <laughs> hindi po dapat siya coordinator, pero um, dahil wala yung isang coordinator, siya ang naghalili. Pero mayroon siyang relation, relationship noon. But anyway, um, <laughs> ang daming nangyari, 2006, nagkasal kami 2014, sobrang daming struggles and everything, ang mga bagay na issue sa buhay ko at lahat marami. Pero nung nag-decide ako na hindi nga kami naging boyfriend at girlfriend eh. Basta sabi ko na parang single naman siya. Sabi ko, hindi ko na kaya na mabuhay na wala ka. <laughs> parang hindi ko na kaya, kasi pumupunta siya sa bahay namin, doon sa J- J.O. Campo. Tapos nagpunta niya doon, sabi ko, um, kasi lagi siya nagluluto. Pagluluto, parang ganun. Eh, nag-aaral si Shine noon, si Shai noon sobrang hirap, sabi ko. Pwedeng dito ka nilang tumira, parang gano'n. Pero hindi na ba? Ang ibig sabihin, pwedeng dito ka nilang tumira. Ha? Bakit yun? Hindi, asawahin na kita, parang gano'n. Uh, yun, yun nangyari. That is history. I mean, nag-propose ako sa kanya. Actually, yung original kong propose, proposal ay June 2013. Pero yung, yung actual na marami nakakita ay November. Kinasal kami ng February. And we praise God dahil... Yun yung intervention ng Lord sa, sa life ko bilang isang uh, man. Parang isip ko, ang hirap. Di ba? Kasi ang hirap mag, mag, uh, palaki ng babae, tapos babae pa, tapos dumating siya. Um, may mga struggles pa rin, pero maturo pa yung struggles, pero by the grace of God, yung intervention ng Panginoon ay laging nandun. Amen. Amen. Let's move. Move forward. Salamat sa Panginoon. So that's why itong statement na to, a man lives his father and mother, and he's united to his wife, and they become one flesh. As promised, titignan yung isa-isa. Pero before that become flesh, let's just um, meditate dun sa unang statement ng 24. That is why a man lives his father and mother. Anong ibig sabihin niyan? To live uh, his mother and to, uh, his father and mother, and to be united with his wife. Uh, with his wife. Yan, yan yung NIV. Yung, yung ibang version, like New King James Version, ito yung banggit. Therefore, Shall a man leave his father and his mother and, sen- and shall cleave? O oh, ba? Parang play of words lang. Live and then cleave. Unto his wife and they shall become one flesh. Anong ibig sabihin ng living and cleaving? Originally, sa unang pagkabanggit, marami pong connotations and denotations, lalo na pagdating po sa mga words at etymology. Yung living, originally, ang ibig sabihin niyan is to place every other relationship at a lower priority than the marriage one. When you live, original, original, when you live, you place all other relationships, syempre, other than God. Hindi mo pwedeng, hindi, priorities, priority dapat ang Panginoon. Pero other than God, at lah- yung mga relationship na yun, ilagay sa lower priority, at ang priority ay yung marriage life. Marriage life. Yan yung ibig sabihin ng living. And yung cleaving naman means to adhere, to stick to, and to be bound together. To cleave with your wife, ay ibig sabihin yan, to adhere and to stick to and to be bound together. 
So with, with that statement, to be bound together, it leads us to a better understanding of yung word na to become one flesh. To become one flesh, sabi nung ibig sabihin, and they shall be one flesh. Anong ibig sabihin yan? Ang equation ng Lord sa marriage ay kakaiba. Two plus one, ay, one plus one equals two. Pero sa Lord, one plus one equals one. The two shall be one flesh. At kung titignan po natin yung history ng the two shall be flesh, maraming panahon, um, lalo na sa Pilipinas at iba pang mga lugar, um, di ba pag nag-aasawa, napapalitan yung apelido ng babae? Di ba? Parang ganun. Mr. and Mrs. Uh, uh, Bong Perez. Nasaan yung Mrs.? Karen yung name ng, ng Perez. Parang nang ganun. Pero sa history po, meron pong simula niyan. Sa 15th century, uh, nangyari po yung moment sa isang jury, ang sabi ng isang jury sa England, ang sabi niya doon, um, uh, dahil doon, kineri po yung name ng, baba, ng lalaki at hindi na po, nawala na yung pangalan ng babae pagdating po after marriage. Again, to symbolize that the made the couple a single person because they are one flesh and one blood. Yun yung ibig sabihin, ng, one, I mean, become one flesh. 15th century lang yan. Uh, sa England, pero pagdating po sa US, may, may iba pa. Pagdating ng 19th century, nagbago-bago. Pero yan yung pinakasimula na, na bago po yung pangalan. Um, every time na ikakasal, papalitan yung pangalan ng, ng, ng babae at ipapalit yung apelido ng lalaki. I, I, parang it symbolizes thing. Pero nakakatawa na parang isipin natin, Lord, salamat. At least merong ganun. Diba? Parang makikita natin yung principle na yun. And, when you read this last verse, and Adam and his wife were both naked and they felt no shame. Kasi mag-asawa sila, parang ganun. Maganda yung, magandang tingnan niyan At uh, alam natin sa, sa mga mag-asawa, uh, walang kabastusan niyan. Um, hindi yan makamundo kapag tayo po ay nasa, nasa uh, sitwasyon na tayo po ay mag-asawa at kasal. Yeah, hindi po yan kabastusan. That's the gift of God bilang isa po mag-aasawa. At yun po ang design ng Panginoon kung paano niya ininvent yung marriage at yung ceremony para ayusin niya, napakaganda at magandang tingnan. Kaya kung titignan po natin yung, yung moments na yan, hindi na tayo magdadwell dyan dahil ayaw natin yan. Diba? Ang gusto natin ay yung gusto ng Panginoon na maayos. I had this moment of interview dito sa top 10 ingredients of a successful marriage. Binang, binabanggit ko rin po ito sa, sa kasal sa pag ako po ay nagkakasal. Um, para maiwasan po itong ganyan, kailangan pong itingnan ito. Ito po ay galing sa isa pong married couple na nagdiwang po ng 50th uh, anniversary, wedding anniversary. At sabi nila, in order for you to be a successful, um, ay mas lalo pong maging devoted sa isa't isa. Ang una po ay kailangan pong magtiwala sa isa't isa. Trust, yun po yung issue. Trust, number one, trust. And also, communication. You always communicate with one, with, uh, with one another. And also, you have this financial unity. Ang tawag po sa mag-asawa yan, the moment na kayo ay mag-asawa, ang lahat na property na ma-acquire nyo, anything, ang tawag doon ay conjugal property. Ngayon po yung mga artista, before mag-asawa na mayayaman, mayroong mga tinatawag na prenuptial agreement. So, ibig sabihin, before tayo mag-asawa, property ko to. Hindi ito magiging conjugal natin. Nalala niyo yung issue ni James Shep at ni Chris Aquino. Di ba? Nag, nag-anal sila. Ang daming nakuha ni, ni James Shep doon sa property ni Chris. Mag-showbiz ako ata. Parang ganun. Pero parang ganun yung ibig sabihin nun. According to this couple, um, they had n- n- no s- uh, separate bank accounts. Parang sinabi niya, sahod mo yan. Walang ganun. For them, sahod mo naman yan eh. Sige, kaw na bahala mag Sahod mo naman yan. Eh, sahod ko to eh. Hindi, hindi. Lahat ng peso na na-earn nila ay sa kanilang dalawa. Financial unity. Intimacy. 50 years na po sila pero intimate pa rin sila sa bawat isa. Hindi po totoo yung kasabihan na pag first year ng marriage, intimate lang. Second year, intimate. Hindi. Kahit all the time, dapat ay intimate dahil yun yung intention ng Panginoon. Amen. Kung hindi na tayo intimate, balikan natin yung intention ng Lord. Sa verse 25, they felt no shame. Yun yung intention ng Lord. Number five, purity. Never na na-mention po sa kanila yung idea na uh, it is um, regard or sabihin natin lagyan ng bahid yung marriage bed. Talking about um, infidelity. Wala pong ganong idea. 
Malaking bagay yun, maging honest sa bawat isa. Accountability. They are accountable of some everything sa kanilang mga buhay. Walang lehim. Pwede ba yun? Um, siguro may nagkalihim naman sila, pero I'm, I'm just interpreting it. Pero parang, according to them, they are accountable sa lahat ng actions nila. So that's why umat- umabot po sila ng 50 years. Number seven, because they were Christian, they're, Christian, they're still Christian, they pray together. They pray together. Every day, hindi naman po every day, pero ang sabi nila is, this is something na naging instrumental at nag-sustain ng aming marriage. They pray together. Kahit galit kayo, yes. Pwede naman mag-pray together, mas galit ulit. Sige, okay lang, mas nag-pray together. <laughs> Number eight, stability. Ang stability according to them is annulment or divorce or any nullity of marriage or anything were never mentioned into our lips. We're never mentioned into our conversation. We were staying, period. Stability. Number nine, tenderness. Imagine niyo po yun, tender pa rin sila, mabot sa 50 years. Kung paano sila mag-treat-treat, di ba? Minsan, sabi nga ni Pastor Mars dati, nung first marriage nila, inaalala yan. I'm not, sorry, I'm not, this, this is just illustration, hindi po ito para joke lang yun ni Pastor Mars. Uh, pagdating ng 34 years, inaalala yan pa rin din naman, di ba? Na parang ganun, alala yun, meron akong nakitang couple sa, sa Alimol, bata pa, nag, magkaharapan, nagka-holding hands, sabang naghihintay ng ano, naghihintay ng, ng order, like, magka-holding hands. Tapos sa kabailang banda, meron naman akong, mat, hindi naman matanda na, parang uh, siguro mga, uh, I would suggest, mga, I would um, guess mga 20 years ng kasal, yung lalaki, nagbabasa ng dyaryo, yung babae, nagbabasa ng, ng Facebook, nagkagano sa Facebook, Dapat hindi ganun, di ba? Parang ganun. So, dapat mag-uusap pa rin kasi nag-date nga kayo eh. Tapos, iba pang ginagawa nyo. So, dapat ay together. Tender pa rin kayo sa isa't isa. Merong pagtas, yung ang sarap ng, ang sarap ng luto mo kanina. Parang ganun, di ba? Parang sarap, ganun. I mean, you appreciate part of tenderness. Ginagamit po yung kamay, touch, hug, kiss. Ang sarap po niyan. And lastly, giving to each other. Hindi po sila nagsasawa to share these things para mas lalo pong ma-accomplish yung ganun bagay. And according to them, that's the top 10 ingredients of a successful marriage. Ako bilang isang bata pa sa pag-aasawa, 5 years pa lang kaming asawa, pero nung una kong kasal, 3 years, um, si Pastor Bong ay magsi-15 years na, magsi-16 years na ata. So, magkasabay kaming taon niya nag, nag, nagpakasal, pero ayun, praise God. Um, proven po yan. And we pray that God will just use that para mas lalo pong makater yung ating pong uh, passion para po sa pag-aasawa. At kung gusto nyo pong mag-start ng pag-aasawa sa mga hindi pa, itry nating pag-aralan yung ganun mga bagay. Mahirap. It's a process. Pero by God's grace, maayos po yan. Amen. At pwede na rin sabihin till death do us part. Yan po yung picture na sinasabi ko kanina. February event. Salamat po, Couples Ministry, Couples um, uh, Core, para organization. Alam nyo po, uh, ang dami pong sikuhan, ang dami pong sipaan sa, sa, sa baba habang nagsisema na, huh, di ba? Oo, oh, di ba? Tama, tama siya, di ba? Tama ako, di ba? Mga ganun. Ang daming moments na realization. Salamat. Salamat. Ito po yung ating couples ministry uh, head with our pastor. Um, meron pang kulang dyan. May kulang dyan. Eh, yan. Um, yan. Pero kompleto, bawat couple. Yan. Si Kuya Philip, nandun. Yan. Si Kuya George. Um, uh, yan. Kuya Ridel. Pastor Eric, and then si Pastor uh, Mars, and yan. Parang may kulang pa dyan. Anyway, so salamat po sa inyo. Yan, with our speaker last February. And um, dahil ako po, ay nag, kami po ay nagkakasal, meron kaming nakakasal ng mga bago pa. And dahil bago pa silang ikasal, meron tayong mga members dito, nag-try kami mag-create na para i-reach out yung mga young couples. Um, para lang matulungan. Hindi kami magtutulong, magtutulungan. At mga pinag-uusapan namin ay minsan uh, issue ng tampuhan, mga ganun. Nag-create kami ng something. Ito rin po galing. Um, yan, eight po yan. Meron po yan dalawa na wala na. Pero active pa rin yung karamihan. Yan yung fellowship namin yung December. Um, yung iba, buntis. Yan, si Twinkle, yung ating worship leader. Andiyan po sa gitna. Uh, yan. Tapos, may pa nga fellowship yung ginagawa. Yan po yun, si Ice. Yan, dito banda sa inyo. Uh, worship leader natin sa fort. Tapos, si Leia, kapatid ng asawa ko. Si teacher Marisa. Yan, naka-black jacket, tapos si, si Trisha, kapatid ni, uh, uh, si Ma, sorry, anyway, uh, part yan ng church natin, nakakatawa na tingnan yung ganun bagay. 
Meron din kami mga fellowship. Si Mimi, yung, yung tinutukoy ko kanina, ikakasal na po yun. Inannounce ko na po dito. Yan po yun, partner nila. Nag-aaral na po sila sa ganong aspeto. Yun, si Ice, tapos si uh, kapatid ni Jetro, nandun sa dulo, na mayroon pong baby ngayon, wala pang one year, pero salamat sa Panginoon. Yun mga fellowship. At inulit namin dito, si Ivan Kalindas, at si Kat, si Pastor Bong ang nagkasal doon, si Ice, yun, yun, si Twinkle, si Pastor F ang nagkasal, si Mimi ako magkakasal, si Ice ako nagkasal. I mean, parang we're trying to help yung mga young couple para lang maayos. I mean, hindi naman para dapat ganito gawin mo. Kami po, nagtutulungan, nagko-complement sa bawat isa. And it is God's original intention. This is God's uh, desire para tingnan natin na, wow Lord, till death do us part. Parang ganun. Uh, as mentioned kanina sa introduction, I'm not saying na I'm, I'm uh, expert of this. I'm still a student of this thing, pag-aasawa, and I'm trying to learn uh, as far as I can by God's help. At uh, when it comes to the Word of God, alam natin na maganda po ang plano niya sa buhay po ng bawat isa sa atin. Amen. Um, gagawin tayo ito na, uh, this morning. Hinihiling ko po ang lahat ng couple, married couple na tumayo. Lahat po ng married couple, kung kasama niyo po ang inyong uh, asawa. Sige po, tayo po tayong lahat and we will pray together. Sige po, wow. Sige po, palakpang po natin sila. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Um, sa lahat po ng hindi nakaupo, uh, na, na, nakatayo o wala pong asawa, pwede natin ilayhans po yung ating mga couples na to. Uh, isama po natin sila sa panalangin sa Panginoon. Right now, sige po, right now, you just declare blessing upon blessing upon their lives, that their, their married life will be fruitful and will be blessed by God, and they will be an instrument para mas lalo pong ma- maka-encourage ng iba pong mga mananampalataya pagdating po sa aspeto ng marriage life. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, precious Father, we are so thank you, thankful, Panginoon, for giving us this design sa isa pong family, especially po sa mga couples. Salamat po, Panginoon, dahil ito po ay ordained by you. This is your gift. Sa, hindi lang po sa lalaki, kundi sa isa pong, uh, isa pong couple, Panginoon, upang maging maayos po, Panginoon, ang disenyo po sa buhay ng bawat isa. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Because... Lord, apart from you, our relationship will never be um, as this, Lord God. Pero salamat po, Panginoon, dahil ang inyo pong sustaining grace ay laging nasa bu- amin, Panginoon. Maaring ang bawat isa po sa amin ay mga may pinagdadaanan. Kilala niyo po ang bawat prosesong pinagdadaanan namin, Panginoon. Salamat po, Diyos, dahil ang intention niyo sa amin po ay maganda from the very beginning, Panginoon. Tulungan niyo kami, O Diyos, na mas lalo pang makultivate yung desire mo, Panginoon, sa buhay namin. Yung original na design mo sa buhay ng bawat isa sa amin bilang isang couple. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, would you bless, Lord, uh, our spouse, Panginoon. The husbands, the, the wives, Lord, of this church, Lord. Dalangin namin ng Panginoon na anumang struggles na pinagdadaanan ay together, Lord, ay paghaharapin, Panginoon, at naniniwala kami, O Diyos, na kapag kami po ay lumapit po sa inyo with your guidance, Lord, magtatagumpay po kami, O Diyos. Hallelujah. And Lord, ngayon pa lang, Panginoon, muli naming um, nirecommit ang aming pong mga buhay po sa inyo bilang couple, that you are the center of our relationship, that you are the center of our marriage life, Lord God. And apart from you, Panginoon, Maaring meron kaming magawa, pero alam namin kakapusin kami, Panginoon. Hallelujah. At naniniwala kami, O Diyos, You being the center of our relationship, Lord. Hallelujah. Magiging matagumpay po kami, O Diyos, for Your glory. And those people na nakakakita po sa amin, kahit may struggle, ay mahakita Panginoon, ng blessing na nagmumula po sa inyo. Our kids, our children, those this generation, Panginoon, at yung mga mga mag- mag-aasawa, magpapakasal, Panginoon, ay ma-encourage, Lord God, na sumunod sa inyong design, Lord God, para i-bless mo ang, ami pong, ang kanila pong mga union. Hallelujah. Lord, inaamin namin, we're not perfect, pero salamat po, our God is perfect, and you are transforming us from day to day, Lord God, in a regular uh, um, basis, Panginoon. Marami pong salamat, O Diyos. Hallelujah. Would you bless ang bawat couple na nandito, O Diyos, at mga wala dito, Panginoon, i-bless nyo rin sila, O Diyos, at uh, uh, i-value namin ang aming time together, O Diyos, especially sa inyo, at ayaw namin, Panginoon, na dumagdag na kami sa statistic, O Diyos, na kami, Panginoon, ay masira, 
Dahil hindi yun yung kalaoban mo. Kalaoban ng kaawa yun. Ngayon pa lang, Panginoon, nais mo namin silyuhan ang bawat relationship ng mommy marriage couple ngayon po dito sa family. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Walang lugar po ang kaaway, O Diyos. At ang nais nyo sa amin, Panginoon, maging blessing sa amin pong community, sa amin pong workplace, sa amin pong mga anak na makita nila na kami po'y close. Hallelujah. In the midst of even and toward circumstances, Ama. Hallelujah. Marami pong salamat. Bless every couple. Hindi lang po ngayon, kundi sa mga susunod pa and forever. Pinataas po namin ang iyong pangalan sa oras na to In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, couples. Salamat, Pastor Bong. Na-remind tayo na ganun pala ang couple. Paano kaya yung couple na hindi natin nagagawa yung responsibilities natin? Struggle po sa aming mga pastors. I am one of speaker next Sunday about Uh, Father, iniisip ko, Lord, papano yung mga sinasabi ng Bible na nahihirapan kaming gawin. Hindi po perfecto kaming mga pastor, meron din pong mga struggles po. That's why we need your prayer. Hallelujah. Maraming salamat uli, Pastor Bong. It's a good research. Purihin ang Panginoon. We will continue to announce to each one of you this morning na meron po tayong midweek uh, prayer meeting every Wednesday po. Iniimbitahan po namin kayo. Uh, 7 o'clock po mag-start and matatapos po to may, may maybe two hours. Um, nandito tayo joining our spirit and asking God for His grace. Open pa rin po yung ating Bible school. Kung sino po dito yung interested to know more about God, it's not necessary na magpastor kayo. Pero malamang sa malamang, pag meron na kayong alam with regards to the Word of God, you can never stop yourself in sharing the Word of God. Wala ho kayong option, kung baga, but to share the Word of God. Kasi overflowing po yon. So, ini-invite namin kayo kung meron kayong desire to know more about God, pwede po kayong mag-enroll sa Bible School. Uh, leadership planning, this coming uh, June 12 po, lahat po ng leaders dito sa church, um, bibigyan po tayo ng letter at nag-confirm na po tayo doon sa ating, anong tawag na Pastor Mong? Yung sa FB, uh, punta na lang po kayo doon kung mag-confirm po kayo. It is necessary po kasi po sa food, sa mga accommodation po dito, kinakailangan po malaman kung ilan talaga yung a-attend. Father's Day celebration celebration this coming Sunday, June 16. Oh, lahat ng mga fathers, sa Sabado pa lang, magplansa na tayo, maglaban na tayo, kasi sa Sunday, wala tayong gagawin. Ha? Pupunta tayo dito. Kung marami kayong labahin, ibabad nyo muna Saturday ng gabi. Okay? Monday na ulit tayo magre-resume sa paglalaba. Okay, this is our day, Father's Day, June 16. Uh, maglagay tayo ng cologne. No? Mag-cologne tayo para mabango tayo sa Father's Day. And at the same time, that is our Mission Sunday. Ito po yung amount na kinumit, tayo, kinumit natin sa Panginoon. Hindi lang po natin alam kung gaano karami at kalawak po ang natutulungan po ng Capital City for Square Church through mission. Dahil po sa inyong generosity, marami pong tao na nakakakilala sa Diyos, marami pong pastors na natutulungan na i-spread po yung salita ng Panginoon through your generosity sa mission po. Youth service, this coming June 22, 4pm, palagi kong sinasabi na kung meron po kayong anak, send them here sa June 22, Saturday, para mag-group po sila. Diyan lang po sa square box, i-allow nyo po sila or encourage nyo sila na pumunta dito. And the next step that we have to do this morning is our project Higher Ground. Ito yung kasali sa meeting namin. Sabi daw, papalitan na daw yung lalagyan. Ano kaya iniisip? Gagawa ba tayo ng, buti, gagawa ba tayo ng mutation? Kung ano na yung, ano natin <laughs> lalagyan. Sige po, kung meron po kayong gift uh, for our project Higher Ground, sige po, i-drop na po ninyo yung ating uh, coins or any bill po na para sa ating project 
for first Sunday po, June 2, ito po yung ating nakoleg. And I know that God would continue to pour out His blessing through you sa ating Project Pyogram. Po, tayo po tayong lahat. Pwede ba natin kantahin nyo, Ate Flor? I love this family of God So closely needed into one He So glad to be a part of this great family. Let's bow down our heads. Kung sino po yung magkatabi na magkokol, I want you to hold hands one another at ilalapit natin sa Panginoon. Kami po ay nagpapasalamat sa iyo, Panginoon, for reminding us, O oh God, na ang aming pag-aasawa, Panginoon, bilang mag-couple ay galing po sa iyo. Design niyo po ito, Panginoon, as men and women, not men against men, but men and women, Panginoon. Dahil alam niyo po, Panginoon, kung ano ang pinakamabuti sa amin. Kaya sa umagang ito, Panginoon, I'm praying to each couple na nandito that you would continue to sustain them. Bind them in one spirit, in one love, as they have their journey in life. Maraming salamat po, Panginoon, sa mensahe na iyong ibinigay sa amin sa umagang ito. At alam ko, Panginoon, na ito ay magiging foundation namin for the rest of our lives. Maraming salamat po, and as we depart from this place, their Heavenly Father, I'm asking you, God, that you would continue to cover us with your precious blood. The next week, Panginoon, dalhin niyo rin po kami sa lugar na ito upang marinig puli, Panginoon, ang iyong banal na salita regarding families. Maraming salamat po. Gabayan niyo po ang bawat isa na makakaratik po kami, Panginoon, sa aming destination, safe and sound, together with your glory. Maraming salamat. This is our prayer with thanksgiving in our heart. And everybody say, Amen and Amen. Give a clap offering to God. Hallelujah. Good morning to everybody. Service this meeting.